Is your electric vehicle actually traveling less than you thought? Even if you think there is no problem with your battery, small habits in your daily life may be consuming your range without you noticing. These simple mistakes, which most drivers do not pay attention to, shorten your travel time, force you to charge more often, and can even affect your battery health in the long run. So, which behaviors are reducing your range so quickly? Here are the five critical mistakes electric vehicle owners most commonly make that reduce range the most. Number 1. Driving at high speeds for long periods of time. One of the biggest advantages of electric vehicles is that they are extremely efficient at low and constant speeds. In urban use, energy is recovered through regenerative braking, and aerodynamic losses are minimal because speeds are relatively low. However, when it comes to highways, the picture changes completely. Driving at high speeds for extended periods significantly impacts the range of electric vehicles, often more than anticipated. The primary reason for this is aerodynamic drag. As speed increases, air resistance rises exponentially, and the vehicle must continuously draw more energy from the battery to maintain that speed. For example, the consumption difference between an electric vehicle traveling at 90 km per hour and the same vehicle traveling at 130 km per hour can reach up to 20 to 30 percent. This means that the range you can travel with a fully charged battery can be reduced by dozens of kilometers. Moreover, high speeds not only increase energy consumption, but can also cause increased heating in battery cells, extra load on the cooling system, and long-term capacity loss. In other words, sustained high-speed driving reduces range in the short term and shortens battery life in the long term. What many drivers don't realize is that even small differences in speed can have a big impact. Driving at 90 km per hour instead of 110 km per hour may extend your journey by 15 to 20 minutes, but it can save up to 20% in range. On long trips, this difference could mean avoiding an extra charging stop. In conclusion, if you want to get the best performance from your electric vehicle, it is critical to maintain a reasonable speed, especially during long highway drives. Remember, I, even a small increase in your speedometer can result in a significant loss in range. Number 2. Aggressive Acceleration and Sudden Braking One of the most striking features of electric vehicles is the instant power under the pedal. Thanks to high torque, the vehicle can accelerate almost like a silent explosion. While this sensation gives drivers great pleasure, it often causes a significant loss of range without them realizing it. This is because every sudden acceleration means drawing a large amount of energy from the battery in a short time. For example, aggressively accelerating at every traffic light in the city may provide a few minutes of enjoyment, but can reduce the total range by 10 to 20 percent. The high current draw on the battery strains the cells and reduces energy efficiency. Over the long term, this habit can also harm battery health. Similarly, sudden and harsh braking is another cause of energy loss. In EVs, energy is recovered through regenerative braking. However, for this system to work efficiently, soft and controlled braking is required. Sudden, harsh braking reduces this recovery to nearly zero. Thus, energy is wasted and range loss accelerates. For more conscious use, it is advisable to opt for smooth and anticipatory driving whenever possible. Applying the accelerator pedal in a controlled manner and using the brakes gently not only preserves range but also makes driving safer and more comfortable. Remember, the cost of those enjoyable sudden accelerations could be kilometers deducted from your range. Number 3. Uncontrolled Use of Air Conditioning and Heating One of the most overlooked issues for electric vehicle users is the impact of climate control systems on range. In internal combustion vehicles, heating typically utilizes excess heat generated by the engine, while in electric vehicles, heating draws energy directly from the battery. Especially in winter, using the heater to defrost the windows or quickly warm up the cabin can cause a dramatic drop in range. Similarly, in summer, the air conditioning consumes a significant amount of energy from the battery, especially in high temperatures, to cool the cabin. Continuously running the air conditioning or heating at high levels during long trips can cause the battery to drain much faster than expected. For example, in a trip lasting just a few hours, climate control consumption can reduce range by dozens of kilometers. More importantly, the battery's high energy draw increases cell temperature, which negatively impacts efficiency. Therefore, using climate control intelligently is a critical habit. Preheating or pre-cooling your vehicle while it is charging before setting off ensures that energy is drawn directly from the grid rather than the battery, 
During the journey, using it at medium or low settings instead of maximum is one of the simplest ways to preserve range. Remember, constantly running the air conditioning or heater at high power for comfort can silently drain your range. Number 4. Carrying Unnecessary Load Many electric vehicle owners overlook the fact that items constantly stored in the trunk or inside the vehicle can have a significant impact on range. Carrying unnecessary weight increases the vehicle's total weight, leading to greater energy draw from the battery. This results in noticeable range loss, especially during long trips. For example, a few boxes of water, a heavy toolbox, or unused camping gear left in the trunk can cause your vehicle to consume more energy per kilometer. This extra energy consumption, though small, can reduce the range by a few kilometers by the end of the journey. Even an extra 50 to 100 kilograms of cargo can significantly increase battery consumption, even if it doesn't affect the vehicle's aerodynamics. Larger additional loads, such as permanently attached roof racks, bike carriers, or roof boxes, can have your range. They add weight and disrupt the vehicle's aerodynamic structure, increasing air resistance. As a result, the distance you can travel with the same battery charge becomes significantly shorter. Therefore, instead of filling your vehicle with unnecessary items, regularly emptying the trunk is one of the simplest yet most effective measures you can take to preserve range. Remember, your electric vehicle's battery feels every kilogram and reflects it back to you as a shorter range. Number 5. Not checking. Tire pressure. Regularly, many drivers think that tire pressure is only related to comfort or safety. However, in electric vehicles, correct tire pressure is a decisive factor in determining range. Insufficient air pressure increases the tire's contact surface with the road, which increases rolling resistance. More resistance causes the battery to draw more energy. As a result, your vehicle consumes more energy on the same road at the same speed, significantly reducing your range. The fact that electric vehicles are heavier than internal combustion engine vehicles further amplifies this effect. This is because low pressure not only reduces range but also causes tires to wear out much faster and unevenly. Even a few PSI of pressure loss can result in a noticeable decrease in range, especially on long trips. Additionally, low pressure negatively affects driving safety. It weakens cornering ability, increases braking distance, and raises the risk of tire blowouts. Thus, neglecting a simple check can threaten both the vehicle's efficiency and driving safety simultaneously. Therefore, regularly checking the pressure values recommended by the manufacturer is one of the easiest and most effective ways to maintain range. To preserve the life of your electric vehicles, it is essential to avoid these mistakes. If this information was helpful to you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss new videos on EV maintenance. What do you think is the most common mistake? Let's discuss in the comments. It's in the e -how.